All right. I'm going to talk with this one a little bit here. You've now got above your brake. All right, let's say your C was your brake. You can now go to D, E, and F. And you've used the mute, you've done the exercises, and you're getting comfortable with it. But now you notice, man, my lower register is so much tougher. What do I do? You have to learn to connect them, just like the clarinets do. Sorry, dry read. <laughs> Try again. Connecting them and making a good sound. Okay? Now, there are two schools of thought here. There is the high set and the low set. And then there is one set. Okay? Me personally, I play the high set, low set. Just because of the type of music I play. I play a lot of more traditional, classical stuff. Uh, and then when I have to play the piccolo, I go to a high set. And, of course, if I have to play some lead every once in a while, I do a high set for that. But when I'm playing uh, at churches, weddings, and stuff like that on like a B flat or C, I have my low set because I give a nice, fuller sound. And it's going to depend on your makeup. Uh, the way my lips are formed and my teeth and, and my tongue, I found it for me, it's easier just to have two different sets. What I mean by that is my regular set, my low set, is only good up to about an A above the staff. After that, it gets kind of E, okay? My high set can take me from A to double A with that, okay? But even when I have to play lead, sometimes I got to bark out a double A, and then all of a sudden I got to play F and G and A and whatever, G sharp, in the staff. So I still have to be able to connect it. So even though I do have two sets, I'm not going to stop right during a lick from the double A and go down in there. So if you're using the one set idea, this helps as well. You find your comfortable note. Remember from mine was like the C and the D. And you just spit it real easy. You're not blowing, you're just going to spit. Just real. Okay? Then from there, you just learn how to descend and relax. Because when you're up here, this is all set, ready to go. Go upstairs, and now you just learn to relax going downstairs. Okay? That took a long time for me, I will not lie, to connect the two registers. I had to spend some time with it. Uh, can you use the mute on it? I didn't. Um, I used the mute for the upper register because when you put the mute in, again, you're going to get more resistance. You have to use more, 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 but a different compression with it. So when I would descend, okay, it sounded nice because I know what it feels like. It was giving me too much feedback. So when I learned to connect the registers, at least descending by relaxing, I didn't use a mute. Okay. Now, if you want a trick to do it, one I do recommend, and I have some of my students do it, and I do it, especially if I need to reteach myself because I haven't done it in a while, is to use the lead pipe with the mouthpiece. Okay. Now you'll see I have a pivot. I'm not a fan of a pivot. Uh, I had uh, a trumpet professor who was diehard pivot and forced me to pivot and it just about ruined me. I'm not against pivot, 
but the way my face is structured, I don't need it. I do have a pivot, but it's not super pronounced. It's just there to help me get to where I need to go. I don't think about pivoting. So if you see that, you know, and if you, if you do pivot, nothing wrong with that, but it, mine's not a forced pivot. All right, so the lead pipe work. Now, let's see if I can imitate what I did with the lead pipe. Now, that's a nice low C, okay? But it's hard for me to play anything down there with that set for me. Even though I can connect it, it's not where I would set to play low. But because I'm still set for high and I descended to low, guess what I can do? I can go back up to high fairly easy. And that used to drive me crazy when I was a kid growing up and learning in college. Like, man, how do these guys connect these registers? Go way high to way low and back up. You know, it, because they have one setting. And they don't set at the low, they set at the high. Because you have to think about it physically. If you set low, you have to tense up to go high. Why not start high and relax? Okay? So, I hope that helps you with connecting them. Uh, the same thing, and I am so guilty of this, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry mom, again, I'm sorry, um, when we look at music, look to see where your highest note is in the passage you're playing, or the phrase, or the etude, what's your highest note? Set your embouchure in your horn to your highest note. Or set a couple notes higher than the highest notes. Probably the best thing to do. That way everything you play is so relaxed. Because this is what I'm guilty of. Sorry, Mom. I sit for the first note I see. Like in the Haydn. You know, first movement. First note uh, of the melody. You know, E flat, concert, F, you know. Great. But the next passage is really hard if I set for that. That didn't feel too awful good for me. <laughs> Actually, it was more work. So what I would do is that passage goes up to an A. I'm probably going to set for my high C or maybe my A. All right, now I'll play it. Now the A came out real nice, and it was, so I hope that helps you out, too. Uh, even when you get to the, uh, the, 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 the fun part for us lead trumpet players when we have to play some classical stuff, uh, where it goes up to the high E flat, uh, you best be setting for that E flat or higher before you get there. Uh, and what I mean by setting is you definitely want to try to get your comfortable note as close to that E flat as you can, but learn how to just kind of spit it out so you can get your set. So when that part comes, sorry, it just speaks right out. And uh, I clammed it, I'm sorry, but that was pretty easy. I have to go clean myself up a little bit on, on that. <laughs> Never said I was a professional. Sorry, Mom. Uh, but I just want to share some ideas with you guys. I hope that gives you an idea or some ideas to use that's going to help you on this journey. And remember, it's a personalized journey. Uh, I do recommend taking notes with that. And, uh, and I'll probably do a video on note taking and how I do it with that because um, I'm going to tell myself uh, I didn't play the trumpet for 10 years. And during those 10 years, I was doing archery, competing at the national level and such. And uh, yeah, but some of those ideas are very relevant to playing an instrument. And uh, that's where some of this stuff comes from. And uh, also my years in drum and bugle corps. So, uh, and I, I know this is driving some people crazy. I will, I promise. I'll explain this one sometime too with that. Uh, and that's about slotting and, 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 and uh, sound color, uh, tone color, sorry. So hope this works, guys.